Hello everyone! If you're watching this video, you're probably concerned about your posture or the posture of someone else. And so, you're probably wondering whether or not buy something to fix poor posture. In this video, I will share the pros and the cons of posture correctors and I will also give you some options to take into account when dealing with bad posture. What you need to know is that there are several types of posture correctors, but I will mainly talk about the t-shirts, braces, strap ones, because they aim to support neck, back and shoulders. So I will start with the pros. So the first good thing about posture correctors is that it reminds you to keep your body straight without thinking about it. Just like a smoke detector, it will help you to alert you before a fire goes on. So it cannot do more than this, it cannot put out the fire, right? The second good thing about posture correctors is that it provides temporary pain relief and removes some joint tensions that you may have. The third good thing about posture correctors is that it can be an alternative to people with severe posture related pain or bad health conditions such as an injury or a surgery. The fourth good thing about posture correctors is its affordability. So it's not too pricey, the price is around $30. The fifth good thing about posture correctors is the wide varieties and the choices you have for most body types. Now we will talk about the cons of posture correctors. The first bad thing about posture correctors is that it makes your muscles, which stabilize your upper body, become lazy and eventually weak, says Dr. Amir Vokshor, a spinal surgeon at St. John Hospital in Santa Monica, California. And in my opinion, it's just like using a cane when dealing with, to, when dealing with mild to moderate knee pain. So basically, the cane is re replacing the muscles around your knee and you're not really fixing the problem directly, right? So the problem is weak muscles around the knee. So basically, the way to fix it is to target and work the muscles around the knee. The second bad thing about posture correctors is that they can be uncomfortable to wear. And in certain occasions, you cannot wear them at all. The third bad thing about posture correctors is that they won't give you permanent results because posture is more complex than what it seems. For example, just like a, a house, if your foundation, let's say your feet, are not properly aligned, so basically your foundation is not properly um, straight, it's, uh, it's, uh, there's misalignment, it can affect the upper part of your house, right? or in, in, the, in this case, in the body, well, the upper part of your body can be affected by that. So just with that in mind, a posture, a posture corrector might not be a good thing at the end of the day because probably there's chances that you, you, you fix something, but you're doing something else badly somewhere else. You, you get something else will get worse at the end of the day. So you have to be aware of that. The fourth bad thing about posture correctors is that it can cause dependence. It's easy to use and relieves pain for a limited time. Just like analgesic to relieve pain, it doesn't really fix the problem, but it helps you to manage pain. The fifth bad thing about posture correctors is that it can put your health at risk if you're not wearing them properly you can end up making the problem worse. That is why it's really important to consult your health provider to know if you really need it and if it's worth buying it. Here's a review of a French guy and he's saying that those tools are not 100% effective and that he suggests that exercises could be a way to keep this alignment for long term. Overall, 
Partial correctors are great tools to make a short-term difference, but they aren't a miracle fix. That is why you should be looking for, instead, of options such as ergonomics, postural habits, personalized exercise program, and have someone to assess your posture and other aspects that are important to take into account when talking about bad posture. So with that in mind, um, I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. And to learn more, you can visit my page, Can Touch This. I help desk workers to get rid of pain and feel better. And uh, yeah, have a great day and see you soon.